I'm going to try to thin down this by face. It's very, very thick. It's so thick that I feel like I could get away with the Mega Bopper pretty much fluting this face here. So I've uh, beveled the edge on the bottom and did some grinding. And I'm going to pop that off with my using my leg. Mega fluting. This uh, this flake is wonderful. And what's good about it? It's nice and broad, but it's got plenty of thickness, and there aren't any. Um, bad things on either side of the flake. So this um, this flake is going to for sure make a nice arrowhead. When you have plenty of thickness you can get away with stuff like this. Hitting on the ends real good and hard. Okay, um, <clears throat> okay, I want to take off some of this big hump here, so I've got a platform built over here. I'm going to hit that and see if we can knock that off. Ooh. A really big flake. You notice though, we got um, we didn't go in too deeply, and so there's still a nice flat point in there waiting to come out. So this is definitely following the idea of getting the platform, uh, getting the uh, biface thin quickly. And big flag here, big flag there. Take this hump off next, and this hump off, and we should have a flat piece. This piece here is big enough to make an arrowhead out of. Let's uh, go ahead and take off this hump. Beautiful. Get this hump here, and we will have accomplished our goal. Okay, I'm going down on the size of the bopper. This is a two inch cap. Just gonna take a flake out here. Oops. Let's move over some. There. <clears throat> this is not a problem yet because we still got plenty of thickness here. We can uh, knock that out over this way probably. Over here, let's get some of that. Get 
some of this. Nice. Okay, let's take some of this area off here. There's a bit of mass right here. Mass here. going to put a lot of finger pressure here and pull back this way with adding compression here. Oops. I didn't get a good bite on that one. Rebuild us a platform. Okay, we're gonna go this way now. There. Let's get this off right here. Yep. Okay, I got a little bit of an area right here. Get this off. a little bit of width here trying to get off this area here. It's okay to hit into an area that has a step fracture as long as you're pretty sure that the flake is going to take that area off with it when the flake comes off. So I'm going to strike up kind of high and have a short flake to dive underneath this. A little bit risky, but let's we'll see.
Not too bad. Let's get rid of this right here. Get this ridge here. That dove in just a little bit here, but uh, we can get that from over here. A little extra finger pressure right here. There we go. That got that area there, and but it made another little area here. But later, that's going to be removed from a side strike here somewhere. Okay, so we got pretty nice reduction on that blade there. It was very thick. We pretty much fluted the thing to start with. Took off a few nice big flakes and then sort of worked down the remaining humps. Now this is a good biface for finishing later. I often like to make up a bunch of these so when I'm ready to actually make points, I select from this instead of big chunks of rock. I want to sit down and make a, a nice point, and I just select a, a good starting preform according to what I want to make. This is a nice uh, preform here. There's nothing really wrong with it. All of this would look like gouges here will be removed from strikes and then um, we'll carefully make some platforms and some thinning flicks across here and this will be nice and smooth. Should be a successful piece. I'm just trying to show um, the bopper and m making nice big thinning flakes with my style of bopper. <laughs> 